Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Today for lunch, or, or for our big meal of the day, we're going to have a salad. And uh, I'm going to make the uh, croutons first, because it's really several hours before our lunch time. Uh, we're also going to do the uh, chicken. So, this is a uh, loaf of French bread from Walmart, and it, wait, showing you the wrong side. There it is, Walmart, one dollar. And I really do like this bread, so what we want to do is cut it up into big chunks or squares. And what I do is just slice it, and of course it's best to use a serrated knife to do that. We cut the uh, slices first. And they're probably going to be about an inch square. And then I just stack up those slices. We'll slice down the middle. And then slice them in little, maybe about one inch or so, little squares. And of course you want the uh, crust on there because that makes really good uh, croutons. So they look about like that. All right, I'm going to finish slicing this whole loaf and we'll be back. All right, we got our bread all cubed. I used the whole loaf and this is the biggest bowl I have so it could get a little messy. First thing we're going to do is put the spices on. I'm going to start out with onion powder. Just right on the top there. Garlic powder. Again, right on the top. And we're going to mix this up too, really good. Chili powder. Paprika. And I'm using dill weed. Put that out of my hand. All right, now I'm just going to mix that up. Might have to use a little more of the spices, but we'll see. And the reason I do it before I put the oil on is so the spices get in all those little holes in the bread. Where if you put the oil on, I think there's a fly in my kitchen. There is. I'm going to have to kill that fly. All right, I'm going to have to go kill the fly. Hold on. All right, we're back. I had to rewash my hands, of course, because I was handling the blaswat. But anyway, mix that up a little more. Yeah, see how that it sticks to the bread like this, because the bread's a little damp. And by the way, to cut this bread up, it works a lot easier if the bread is slightly frozen, which mine was not. But anyway, all right. So that looks like it's about good enough. Now we're gonna kind of wet it down with some light olive oil. And I've got my oven set at 350 degrees, and it's probably going to take about 30 minutes for these to get crispy. Now, we don't want them hard. We just want them crispy. And really, I think it takes about 30 minutes. We need a little more oil. Now we're simply going to put them on the uh, baking sheet, put them in the oven for about 30 minutes, and they should be ready. All right, y'all, we'll be back when these are ready. I've got to have this for my hand to cut off the camera. All right, we're now ready to fix some chicken strips. Now, this is not chicken tenders, although one side of that is a chicken tender. This is a very large chicken breast from Walmart. I bought back in April. I think they come in packs of six or eight, and I just freeze them in individual little quart bags. All right, so we're going to cut this in some strips. I got a glove on one hand, but not on the other. Now 
Yeah, it looks like I can get maybe six nice strips out of this. And again, this is going to be used in a salad. Actually, I'm going to get seven strips out of it. And by the way, you know, normally a really large chicken breast would be just like tough as shoe leather. And I don't know what Walmart does to the chicken breasts, but they are super, super tender. Okay, I ended up getting uh, seven pieces. This one's a little small. Let me put my knife away. Alright, so I've got my burner up on medium. Let me turn this so you can see there. So I've got my burner on medium, and I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil in there. Not much. Alright, we're just going to put it in. No salt or anything on it. Just the chicken strips themselves. on medium. Alright. Get it down nicely. Alright. While these are cooking, I'm going to grate two large oranges. I'm actually only going to use the uh, orange peeling off one. And I'm going to grate them in the smallest side of my grater. And I'm going to use the juice from both oranges. So I'm going to cut this down just a little bit to about medium low. And let this chicken cook. And when it gets done, and I get my orange grated and my juice out of the oranges, we'll be back. Alright, with that, the chicken is uh, lightly browned. It's actually probably completely done. So what I'm going to do now is pour off some of this oil so I can get it off without dumping my chicken out. Whoop, there went a piece of chicken. So, uh, the croutons, of course, are still cooking. They've got about another 10 minutes. And so what I'm going to do now is use the uh, juice from the two oranges. So that's about a cup of juice. I'm just going to put a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon of cornstarch in there. Now remember the... Uh, Juice is, is uh, cool. Actually, it's cold because they've been in the refrigerator with oranges. I'm just going to mix that up. That cornstarch will dissolve in the orange juice. And now, to that, I'm going to add the grated orange rind. So that's probably about a tablespoon. I just grated one of the oranges. Dump this right in with the chicken. There you have it. Now I still have not put any salt on the chicken whatsoever because the uh, orange juice is going to be tart and uh, you really don't know there's not salt on it to tell you the truth. So we're just going to simmer this in this juice for about 10 minutes. Let me find my lid. Alright, so we're just going to simmer it for about 10 minutes. Now, let me move my camera back. Back. Okay, so what we're doing is uh, going ahead ahead of time and fixing the uh, croutons. And we're fixing the chicken ahead of time. 
and I'm going to put it in this little bowl along with the, the uh, sauce and the sauce is actually going to become the salad dressing for this salad. So we're just going to simmer it about 10 minutes, let it cool off a little bit, put it in the refrigerator because we want the chicken cold when it's on the salad. And we're not going to eat for probably another mm, two and a half hours. All right, we'll be back then. All right, the uh, croutons are ready. They've been in there about 30 minutes. You see they're lightly browned. And I've cut the oven off. Now I'm going to close the oven door, but just leave it cracked like that. Just leave it cracked and leave them sitting in there so they'll really be good and crispy, even though most of them are already crispy. All right, we will see y'all when we get ready to put this salad together. Hey y'all, we're back and it's almost three o'clock. It's been a couple of hours now and we're ready to put the salad together. The chicken cooled and I cut it into little bite-sized pieces and it's coated with that little orange glaze really. So we're using uh, the spring mix salad and I'm delighted to say that I think this time it had some actual baby kale in it. That's what it looks like to me. But anyway, before we add all this stuff on, I want to do the dressing. Now, this is what was left from uh, what the chicken was in. And it's, of course, all cool now. Now, if I had some um, uh, honey, I would sweeten this with honey, but I don't. So I'm going to use the Cairo syrup. And I'm going to use probably about three tablespoons in there and just mix that in with that sauce. And this is going to be the dressing for the salad. Just mix that in. It's a little hard to mix it in because the, uh, the uh, orange juice and zest here are pretty cold. But maybe we can do it. Yeah. All right, that's good enough. Yeah, you have to sweeten this up a little bit. But without having any honey, and I certainly wouldn't want to put sugar in it, so I just chose to put the Cairo syrup in it. Just needed something to sweeten it up a little bit. All right, so that's going to be our salad dressing. So the first thing I'm going to put on there is going to be uh, apple, and I think this is uh, Fuji apples. They're real crispy. And this is two really small ones, so we're going to jump that on. and some table grapes and I cut those in half just because these are just uh, little sweet table grapes and I just think the grapes go really really well with the chicken really well all right and now we're ready to put our chicken on this turned out to be about uh, two and a half cups of chicken and it is very very tender it's going to go right on top. Put the rest of that in the, the salad dressing. Mix it up. There's some more apple. All right. So now we're ready to pour this on the uh, salad. Makes a great salad dressing. But you do have to sweeten it up because it would be just too sour otherwise. All right, now, wipe my hand off here. And so now, we need to put some croutons on. Now, this is um, a little uh, plastic container that I, that I get greens in at Walmart. And I'm gonna freeze the balance of the croutons that we don't use. So I'll put those right on top. And we do like a lot of croutons. And they're very crispy now. All right. And again, I'm going to freeze these for the next time we have a salad, which will probably be about a week from now, but I want them really fresh. And they will stay crisp in the freezer if they're completely dried out. In other words, if you leave them in the oven with the door partly open for about an hour, they'll be completely uh, crisp. So I'm going to put these in the freezer. And for dessert with our meal today, this is the first cantaloupe we've gotten this year. It's from Florida, and they're really, really good. 
So the cantaloupe will be our dessert. I've already made the tea, and we are simply ready to eat. So let me give you a close-up of this. Hold on. All right, here's a close-up of the salad. There's the chicken, the croissants, I mean the uh, croutons, and the grapes, and that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that was a Fuji apple. Actually, I used two small ones. And the uh, cantaloupe from uh, Florida is really good. I already tasted of that. And of course, we've got our iced tea. And here's my salad. And these are going in the freezer. These, this is, uh, everybody's always asking me about the container. Can y'all see that market side? This, uh, some uh, greens came in this and I just cut that little edge off of it. So the top comes off and on easily and it's gonna go right in the freezer and these will be just as crispy when they come out of the freezer as they were when I put them in. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.